Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Well, I just got back from Lake Elmanor. I got a couple really nice rainbow trout. And uh, this last week I had a request on the channel from a guy asking to show how I fillet rainbows. So this is a good time. I'm gonna show you a couple different techniques. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see my cutting board. I'm gonna fire up the hose here and uh, we will clean these big boys. Fishhuntshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com. Okay, folks, here we go. Um, don't know how this is going to turn out. I've got the, the red lid off an old tote here. Um, I have one of my large Kershaw fillet knives. This is an old model. This is a, a blade changer model. It's pretty darn sharp. So let's get started. We'll start out with the... Uh, the larger of these two fish. Now, one thing, I just put these fish directly on ice. I did not, um, I did not gut them. I didn't do anything like that. And a uh, couple different techniques. One, you can gut the fish. I'll show that technique next. Or you can you can kind of pass on the gutting. But what I will say is, when you're filleting trout, these fins here, they will kind of get in the way as you cut that fillet. So what I like to do. I like to go just like this and I like to remove the lower part of that stomach before I start filleting. So I'll make a cut right there and uh, it's a really big trout here. This one's about five pounds so this is not the common size fish that I ordinarily fillet but uh, we'll remove the rest of that on the other side. But I get that out of the way and uh, on a trout you're not going to remove the skin you're just going to make one good sweep right along the spine and uh, you're going to leave the skin attached so here we go we're going to cut right here we're going to angle towards the head but we're going to stay right outside of that you know that cartilage there that is the the gill plate we're going to kind of make a smile face shape cut right here so we'll just sweep the knife right down through there till we feel the spine now, i feel the spine right there now we're going to take the blade i like to lift this up a little bit and I just kind of get started so the knife starts to cut right there. Now there are some ribs and stuff you're gonna, gonna feel going down, especially if you have a large trout like this one. And I never profess to be an expert, you know, fish filleter, but I have I have filleted my share. So I'm just working that right down the spine, just like that. I'm trying to control the fish. He's a little slippery, but uh, you know, don't get in a hurry. And I'm just gonna take that off right there, just like that. Now, there's my fillet removed. You can see I followed the spine right on down. We'll clean that up in a bit, but I'm going to set that aside for now. We just replicate that process on the other side. And I'm actually going to remove all these entrails. And that fish is absolutely stuffed full. Let's see what, what, what's inside of that fish. There's the stomach, as you can see. He is absolutely stuffed full. That fish does nothing but eat. And he's got some hard stuff in there. So let's check out what that is. I'm going to have to clean the cutting board. But I'm curious to see what's in there. I don't know. It's really hard. I have no idea. Oh, he's full of snails. Look at that. You don't see that every day. He's full of snails. Is that snails? Yeah. He's full of snails. Little snails. There's a complete one right there. He's full of little tiny snails. Now I caught this fish, or my wife actually caught this fish. We were over 35, 40 feet of water. So that tells me that fish, he was down. He was spending a lot of time down on the bottom. Look at that. That is all snails. Dozens and dozens of snails. So that's interesting. I don't know how you replicate a snail when you're out fishing. So that, that's very interesting though. He was eating good. He, he likes snails. We'll set that aside. Let me spray off the board a little bit here. Trying to conserve water a little bit. Up here in Forest Hill, they really, they really gouge us on water, so I, I don't have a big, a big spray going on. There we go. And I'm going to take these fillets in the house and, and clean them up further when I'm done. But there we go. So we're going to flip this fish over like that. Finish removing this strip of belly meat here. Just like that. Just get it out of the way. And uh, 
kind of replicate what we did on the other side. Make that cut down to the spine, right to there. Kind of hold that up. Get the knife started down the body. Just follow that right on down the line there. Don't get in a hurry. Whoa, just like that. There we go. Get rid of all that. Yuck. Get rid of that and that, that lower fin there. Just like this. Just like that. And like I say, we'll set this aside clean these up in a bit but that is the first step of the process there and uh, we'll set this aside as well I've never seen a fish full of snails like that okay here's trout number two now we're gonna we're gonna take a different approach with this trout and this is gonna be a little bit cleaner process we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean this trout first so to do that we're not gonna remove the head it's going to go in the vent right there, go right up the belly, just like that. And uh, we're not looking to do a super, a super detailed clean job. We're just looking to get most of these entrails out of the way. So I'm just going to, going to rip that off right there. Actually, it's a good sized fish. It's kind of hard to rip. We'll give it a little cut there. We'll remove that. Give that a little cut as well. Now this guy is not full of snails, like that first larger fish was. So there we go. I will still remove these, these fins right here, because they still get in the way. So I'll just go like that. Let's make a nice little cut there. Flip him over. Do the same thing over here. Get started here like that. Careful not to cut your finger. So there you go. Um, go ahead, same process. Make the cut right here. Go right on down, right to the spine. Turn that blade. Lift this up a little bit. And we'll just start that cut down the spine. Just like that. As you can see, without those entrails in there, it is somewhat easier. So that's, boy, that's beautiful. Get that out of the way here. Whoa! There we go. Flip the fish over. Make that cut right, right there, just like that. Make sure you're all the way through down here. Find the spine. Start right down the spine, just like that. Take it all the way down, all the way down to the tail. Flip that off. Very nice, nice looking meat. Let me get those flays back up here. Rinse this all off, clean them all up. So there we go. Four very nice trout fillets there. Remove this blood. Scrape that away, and I may slice away these uh, these rib bones before I cook the fish. Um, at times, I'll do that. These I'm going to bake these trout. These are large trout, so in reality, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bake them as is, and uh, I'll remove the ribs after the fish is cooked. You want to get all that blood, all that funk off there. Whoa. Well, there you go. I'm going to bake these trout up tomorrow night with some lemons, some herbs. I'm going to probably cook some asparagus with them and uh, I'm in for some good eating. That's it. That's how I fillet trout. The second technique is definitely cleaner. Um, it's probably better. Um, I can go either way. Depends what I'm doing. If I'm out on the boat and I'm trying to get it done, I'll go ahead and fillet them without gutting the fish. But when you gut them, you definitely get a better product. You get a cleaner job. And uh, that second smaller trout, 
Man, that is bright red meat. I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, I'm Cal Kellogg. It's a little bit about cleaning trout, filleting trout, and uh, I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and check out our store at Fish Hunt Shoot Productions on the web. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch you next time. I'm Kel Kellogg. I can put all these fish fillets away. Thanks a lot, guys.